Hi, today I am going to talk about the top three mistakes that you must avoid while giving low level design interviews. So these are not common mistakes. Basically these are common but these are not like uh, no, very normal mistakes. If you make these mistakes then your chances of rejection of your or your chances of failing the interview goes significantly up. So you know Charlie Munger said once that avoiding stupidity, stupidity is much easier than finding brilliance. So in the same way, uh, if we can avoid the blunders or the stupid things that we do during interviews, then we are going to increase our chances of success. So with that in mind, let's see these mistakes one by one. So the first mistake is going too wide or beating around the bush. So the way it happens is candidate is given a question from the interviewer, say something like design a food ordering app and they just take go to a whole new level and they start writing all the requirements, all the features and all the sub features of the systems. They start with add user, remove user, add admin, add delivery person, add restaurant, add make payment, uh, how to integrate the payment, how to track the delivery person, everything, know how to notify the restaurant, uh, notify the user that wallet has reached their location. But you know, I want to stop there for a moment and think about this. These systems, a food delivery app or a ticket booking system, these are very large systems and they have taken like years to build using hundreds of engineers. And you and your interviewer do not have a year to discuss this. You have only 45 to 60 minutes. So you cannot keep writing all those features and sub features. So there should be a way here. So what you should do in this case? The goal is to be specific. You have to choose the most important features and discuss them only. And you know the side effect of taking this route is now you have listed tons of requirements like 20, 30 requirements. Some of them are important but they are hidden among the unimportant requirements. So chances are during the next phase that is the class diagram or class design phase, you will start with the unimportant classes. I want you to understand that most of the systems will have a user management. Most of the systems will have payments. Most systems will have some sort of notifications, analytics and some sort of tracking. Okay, so you have to understand that you these are side features for any system. You need to know, know what are its core features. And you have to list only that the goal of a low level design round is you start with a narrow set of important features and then you go even narrower into it. Keep discussing it, even keep narrowing down into it. That is what your interviewer is expecting. They do not want you to just uh, list down the names of all the features and sub features and all that's do not they want. So, for example, what could be the core features of this system? The first one is so just think about how why do you want to use a food delivery app why do you use a Zomato or Uber Eats the first thing that you want to do there is you want to see a list of restaurants search some food item and see a list of restaurants based on some criteria it can be rating most important uh, it can be pricing or some other feature popularity these things next what do you want you want to order food items this is a food delivery app that's its main feature you also want to rate that order Rating the order is important because again that rating using that rating average rating of restaurants or food items is calculated and ref, uh, restaurants are shown on the home screen of the app or website. So these are the important features as a rule of thumb try to keep the list of your core features maximum five or six not more than that. Okay and do not beat around the bus. And once you do that, start with the most important classes during the class design. Do not with, start with class user or payment, payment service or notification service. Start with class order, class restaurant, orders manager, restaurant manager. These are the important classes for this system. Other question, depending on the question, uh, core features will be different. You will get to know them. So the goal is not to go too wide. Do not beat around the bus. The second most common mistake and a fatal one is not clarifying the requirements. So the way it happens is, let's suppose interviewer asked you design a food ordering app. 
now you have already like read a few blogs and watched a few youtube videos from everyone like how to design a food ordering app and most of them has returned a list of restaurants order by their average rating it's a food ordering app so you have to return a list of restaurants basically browse restaurants and you designed it the same way now 25 30 35 minutes into the interview your interviewer says okay so basically you have sorted the restaurants based on their average rating but i was expecting something different something like uh, sort the restaurants i want to get the list of top restaurants where a particular food item is rated five star most times so for example if i want to order biryani i want to get biryani from the restaurants where it has been rated five star most times so who makes the best restaurants who make the best biryani or i may want to support multiple strategies and choose one of them in the run time so you see now your design and the interviewer's expectation are both quite different so at this point you have already like taken 35 30 35 minutes of the interview you have to backtrack and redo your design so now you have significantly increased your chances of failure okay so how to avoid this mistake the first thing that you have to do is you have to accept in your mind that your interviewer has some version of the solution in their own mind which is different for from yours which can be different from yours they want to basically tweak the question or tweak the solution and they want to test you from some for some scenarios how you handle them how you think on your feet how do you make use of certain design patterns which will be used for handling those particular scenarios there can be multiple ways of handling those scenarios say they want to check all of those things okay so the best thing for you is to clarify the requirements as early as in the interview as possible so when in the first step itself when you do the requirement gathering what you do is apart from writing just the function uh, in as a string or text you also write uh, you have basically listed down all the most important requirements then your interviewer tell you okay i want to dis discuss these things so let's suppose they want to discuss these features so what you do then is you list them down as a method so there will be three things there will be method name there will be input what will be the input to that method and what will be the output from that method you are expecting so now that uh, and i'm not asking you to basically put down for example uh, order food will can also take user id user location so you may not want to put every input parameter okay but put at least the most important ones so food is ordered from a restaurant so at least these two parameters are going to be there user id can be there the thing is when you list down it as a parameter both input output and method name then if the uh, interviewer wants to make a change then they can do it right now during the first 10 minutes of your interview rather than doing it at the last 20 25 minutes of the interview so basically what happened is you have reduced your chances of failure okay and this is going to basically save you a lot of headache or i will say heartache during uh, the next other last parts of the interview okay so the third and final mistake uh, and this is one of the dumbest mistakes uh, and it's a huge red flag you do it in an interview and you are automatically rejected no two questions about it or you can say no two ways about it but still i have seen like uh, 20 30 percent people making it especially the uh, basically less experienced candidates one to less than three or less lesser years of experience candidates but sometimes i have also seen five six year old experience people do it so they have no idea about entity managers like no clue so the way it happens is uh, basically any low level design system it's a collection of objects so for example our food ordering app they are going to be hundreds of restaurants they are going to be thousands of orders even hundreds of thousands of order so suppose what you need you need an entity class entity class order which will have some fields and which is going to have some getters and setters now the next thing that occurs is the functionality that we need is 
we need to keep all these the list or map of these orders somewhere in real world we keep them in databases and write a wrapper over it but what happens is for many candidates after this step they are stuck so you ask them okay how will you implement rate order just tell me so they have no idea they just take an order and just update its rating but then you ask okay how will you find that order so what they do is they try to keep this orders map or some sort of a list inside this order class itself which is like completely wrong so you have to explain them that do this is a data class that you have designed and this will be instantiated thousands hundreds of thousands of times you cannot keep a hash map here and again so mostly they are stuck at this point so you need to understand that they are going to be entities or data classes in the system and then they are going to be orders uh, or entity managers which will keep a collection of the, those entities and the methods basically the crud operations for those entities for example orders manager got order food which creates new uh, order objects then you have rate order which picks the order object using the order id and updates its rating so similarly they are going to be class restaurant which is an entity class or data class and there is going to be a restaurant manager so this is how it happens so most people do not make this mistake uh, for the lesser experienced people they do make this they should they must avoid making this they will just get stuck in the interview they will not move away so yeah so that was the third one this was all about the top three mistakes that you should avoid during low level design interviews this is going to increase your chances of success by reducing your chances of failure so if you are preparing for LLD interviews, then I will recommend CodeGym 7 day preparation plan on codegym.com slash roadmap. So basically it has the top low level design interview questions and then there are YouTube video tutorials and blogs on how to basically what are the core features of those systems and how to solve them using the most common design patterns and so on. So basically the most important topics are discussed during first or initial days and then we have moved down to the other topics so this is going to help you prepare very efficiently for the low level design interviews so give it a try it's worth it uh, i wish you all the best for your low level design interview preparation and thanks for watching bye